So we are working on solving linear equations, but in this section we are focusing on these linear equations being rational, meaning we have fractions involved. In the last video we did some simpler examples, and I left you with a more difficult example here. So I'm just going to jump straight to that example. We have example four, which you can see is a fairly large problem. If you have not already, I suggest that you pause the video and see how far you can get with this problem on your own. Okay, the most difficult part of this problem is probably figuring out where to start. And the easiest way, I think, to go about this one is to not leave them in these three fractions here, but actually separate it out into six separate fractions. We know that we can separate these fractions out because we have one piece in each denominator. So I can write each numerator separately over those denominators. So let me get rid of this scratch work here and let me show you exactly how that looks. That gives me 2x over 4 minus 1 fourth plus 3x over 8 plus 4 eighths is equal to 1 12th minus 4x over 12. So I've changed it from three big fractions to six small fractions. Now, it's going to be much simpler to follow these steps that I've outlined for you. Okay, so I need to simplify each side of this equation individually. So on the left, that means that I need to combine my like terms, the ones with the variables, and my constant terms here. So let me start with my red circles here, the ones with the variables. I know that I add these by finding a common denominator. So between 4 and 8, I see that my LCD is 8. So I'm going to multiply my first fraction by a 2 over 2. Now, I could have reduced this 2 over 4, but it wouldn't have gained me any ground because I would have needed to come up with a common denominator eventually. So if you've reduced it, great. If you haven't, no big deal. You'll get there eventually. Okay. So. That gives me a 4x over 8, and I'm trying to combine that with a 3x over 8. And when I put those two together, that gives me a 7x over 8. So now I need to combine my blue circles there, my constant terms. Now notice I can reduce this 4 8 here, and I will actually reduce this one because that's going to make my LCD smaller, and the smaller numbers are always the best. But instead of reducing it by my largest common factor by 4, I'm actually only going to reduce it by 2. So 4 divided by 2 gives me 2, and 8 divided by 2 gives me 4. So I've changed this fraction from 4 8 to 2 4. Now why in the world would I do such a thing? And the reason that I did it in that fashion, which is different than anything that you've seen me do before, is because I know when I add these two guys, I'm going to need a common denominator. So if I reduced my fraction here only by 2, that ultimately put it in a common denominator form. So that would give me a negative 1 4 plus 2 4. And combining those together, that gives me a positive 1 4. I just want to copy down the right-hand side of my equation here. So I have a 1 12 minus, and with this 4 12, I can reduce. So in simplifying it, I can divide each of those by 4, leaving me with a 1 third x here. And I have simplified both sides of my equation completely. Now I need to start rearranging things. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move my 1 third x to the left by adding 1 third x to both sides. And I'm going to move my 1 fourth constant term to the right by subtracting 1 fourth from both sides. So 
So just rewriting that, that gives me 7 over 8x plus a 1 third x is equal to 1 twelfth minus 1 fourth. And I put these two fractions together on each side of my equation by coming up with, yet again, another common denominator. So on the left, my LCD between 8 and 3 is 24. So I multiply it by my missing pieces. That gives me 21 over 24x plus 8 over 24x, leaving me with a 29 over 24x. On the right, my LCD between 12 and 4 is 12, so I multiply this guy by a 3 over 3. That leaves me with 1 12 minus 3 12, or a negative 2 12, which I can actually reduce to negative 1 sixth. Now my final step to isolate my variable is to divide by 29 over 24, or we know it's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply by 24 over 29. Cancels everything else on the left except for my x variable. On the right, I reduce 24 divided by 6 gives me 4, and so that gives me my final answer of negative 4 over 29. So I have my final answer to this problem. Now that leaves me with step number 3 to check my solution, but I'm going to go ahead and let you do that all on your own. So this finishes this video here where I solve this ginormous fraction or this very large linear rational equation. Now, I'm going to leave you with this tidbit that you are more than welcome to solve equations like this using this method here, but I'm going to show you in the next few videos that there is actually a much better way to solve this problem. So I encourage you to come back and watch those other videos so when you see problems like this on your homework, you can do it the easier way rather than this route here, which is a lot of fractions.